welcome to my channel. I don't know what just happened, Virgo. Wow. And it's been so spiritual. It's been so hard to even press through to even get to this sign. I was in the middle of the reading and recording, right? Mind you, I had to wake myself up and drink some coke. And, oh, I'm sorry. You find her. We don't have to talk right quick for a girl. Welcome to my channel. I'm so Pisces. It's your girl, the Empress of Light. It's going to be a little awkward for you. I don't know why this is coming out like that. I'm still going to show you everything in my box, but I'm not going to go through the whole process. It's different with you. I don't know why. I love you, Virgo. You just open me up. Ooh, Virgo, you just do something to me. Ugh, you always mess things up and challenge me. Even when I'm talking about the sign. So I just went through everything in the little mechanical way that I normally do. And you made me stop, but still do it. But I love my Virgos. Hey, Virgos. So, again, my channel. I'm so Pisces. I'm the Empress of Light. You are not here by coincidence if you're tuning in. We are the collective. I've been saying that shit lately. Ever since I found out. We are the collective. There's been awakening. Um, I am the Empress of Light. And my light, our light, is inspired by darkness. Um, my readings are timeless. So whenever you watch this, you are meant to watch this. And I'm here just sharing the message. I'm just a tool. These cards, these elements, all these things that I'm putting, all the things that I'm teaching you. These are just teaching tools on how to tune into your own power. Everything that you have is already within, Virgo. Long story short, how long are one minute, one minute, 59 seconds? Okay, so before we get to the seven minutes, because I have to start all over. So I had just did the whole half of video, like, ready? No talk. I have to show y'all, Virgo, because y'all make me keep it real. Pisces, we are so compatible with Virgo, my baby. I jumped to Virgo um, because my baby's a Virgo, and I'm looking at him, and I'm like, oh, let me see what's going on with Virgo. I had a really good video. I don't know what happened, and it just disappeared, and I thought we were recording. Are we recording now? Yes, we are. So I have the spread down. I pulled out everything. I did the dragon's blood sage. I went through everything and explained everything. And you're making me do it again, Virgo, but in a different way. And that's what Virgos do to us. This is without even reading on Virgos what I found online. Damn, Virgos. Oh, anywho. So I love you, though. It's a challenge. It's always a challenge with the Virgo. This is just your sign. I can always expect when I'm doing a Virgo reading to have a cigarette available. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. Yeah. Earlier in the reading, I had the TV on. And I knew because you're a Virgo that you're going to be sidetracked because you pay attention to the smallest detail, as we'll get into. But you pay attention to everything. So you're going to be looking at my background. I said, let me stop. You know, let me get your attention while I have you, Virgo. So real quick, let me get a cigarette because you already working my nerves. Okay, so this is the second time. I'm a real reader. I'm a real person. You know, I have issues. I eat meat. You know, I'm not there yet. I'm trying to be healthy. I'm talking about, but I'm just real. This is real. This has been passed down through the ancestors, Virgo. This is a spiritual reading for you. Three minutes. We got time. You have made me. So now, you know, that's another introductory to my channel, Virgo, because I'm a Pisces, you know, the sign of two fish swimming in opposite directions. They say, you know, you, you're confused or no, it's either I'm not confused. I see that I fuck with you or I don't. And if you fuck it with me, you either will fuck with me or you won't. It's just either you like me or you won't. It's just really in between because we're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to tune in to me if you don't like me. So, <sighs> Lord Virgo, you are Virgo. I'm going to tell you about yourself. So you may be in part of this awakening. And maybe you don't know, Virgo, who you are. So we're going to jump right into it, Virgo. Born September 16th through October 30th. So I'm getting all of my information, astrology, um, dashzodiac.com, and just putting in the signs and getting their likes and dislikes. Just kind of filling your vibration like astro, you know, astro planning, trying to pull into your earth sign because I'm a water sign. I'm having to get up on her. It's hard to breathe. You messing me up, Virgo. But uh, September 16th, October 30th, you are an Earth element. Your ruling planet is Mercury. You're loyal, analytical, kind, hardworking, and practical. 
your weaknesses is that, oh, those were your strengths. I'm sorry. Your weaknesses are that you're shy, you worry, overly critical of self and others, all work and no play, likes animals, healthy food, um, nature, and you're very clean, Virgo. You're like anal, OCD, very organized and on top of shit. Uh, you dislike rudeness and you're asking and asking for help. You don't like asking anybody for help. But what I love about you is that you pay attention to the smallest detail. So when I was really vibing, you're fine. I always have a little saying. And then we're going to find the crystal that suits you every sign. I kind of feel a, of crystal that I've been pulling on. And I need to be writing this down. I don't think you would think I was writing it down. But I already have yours, which was in the last video that we lost. We're going to go through it again. Because Virgos, they challenge us. Don't they? But we love them. That's why That's why you are tired of being misunderstood. People don't understand you because you are on such a level. And you should carry yourself as such, Virgo. You really should. As I'm pouring into your sign and your energy, you know, it can kind of piss some of us off. We don't, we don't understand you. You, we just, you know, some people may think you're crazy. Like people think I'm crazy, Pisces. They don't understand me. That's probably why we're compatible. We are out the box. So we kind of be crazy together. But you're more down to earth than me myself. And working my nerves. But that's what Virgos do, right? Anyways. Past, present, and future. We've already, um, I used the dragon's blood sage. We're going to go ahead and do it again because I didn't get it into my last video. We're at six minutes and 45 seconds. So we're, I like to do it around seven minutes. And seven is the number of completion. It is the number of perfection. It's the, like, the time that I like to get all my things out of my box. If you can see, I already have everything out. My crystals. But I get my sage out and I have already blessed the cards. Get this off of me and get this into your reading. Um. Oh, Jesus. All right. So, this is a teaching channel. I just want to make sure I'm recording because I don't know what happened to the last footage and I can just swear that I was recording and I hope. I don't want to get to the point that I'm talking to myself and I have to re-record where I go because I'm trying to get this to you real uncut. Unfiltered. Dragon's blood sage is used in for protection energy, removing negativity, releasing bad habits, improving mental ability, promotes healing and wisdom, also aids with grief and loss, love, healing, protection, and sexuality. So we've already blessed everything. I've already blessed my crystals. Again, I have the quartz, the clear quartz that I've used. I don't know if I show you all here on my channel. I was trying to introduce this to you as well, Virgo. We like to look at the overflow. We never want to focus on the cup as being half empty. But we want to focus on the spiritual overflow. So this right here we pull out. This represents the spiritual overflow. Oh, I see why I had to redo it. This is the spirit. And Virgo, thank you. Because I'm forgetting what I forgot to put out right now. Thank you, Virgos. You keep us on track. But these are our spiritual overflow, all of our riches and our duty. And, you know, I like to put whatever I'm burning here and I put it out here and it kind of has ashes in it because we're rising from the ashes, aren't we? We're rising from the ashes. So I have this clear quartz for my, um, spring scoop mm -hmm. that I'm mm -hmm. okay. and the clear quartz for the crown. I'm going to try to scoop down for the crown chakra. This is on the top of the head. And then I have the amethyst, which is for the third eye that we put right here for the psychic insight because we're doing a past, present, and a future. Now, I've already shuffled the cards and I've already asked. But you missed all this. I lost all that footage, but you're not going to get missed this reading. We're not going to let that happen. Okay. And then the stone that I picked for you, and I didn't even know because I'm still learning. It was the green prehenite which is used for our solar plexus. It's a beautiful stone. I don't know. I was looking at it and I felt it. So I read up on it. I'm going to reintroduce that to you so you don't miss it. Um, the great print in that. And this will help with worry. And this is with your sign. You tend to worry a lot, which is good. because you. But you worry because you you don't miss any little fucking detail. And it can kind of drive you crazy. Because really, and that's what, and that's why we vibe all of each other. Because you are, I'm sorry, you are very down, you are very, 
practical. You are very organized. You're on top of your stuff. Don't get me wrong. But when you can try to be too much on top of your stuff, sometimes you have to realize you're not God. You're not the universe and that you are taken care of. So you can also drive yourself crazy. So, and this is, I'm telling you, I can already see what you'll be delivered from your past and where we're at in your present and in your future. So it's amazing. But I see why the spirit did that. So the green print tonight is, um, it can be used for the heart as well, but it's mainly used for your solar plexus. And your solar plexus, you know, please check out my video. I'm going to try to leave it in the cards. Probably not because I'm tired, but please check out my um, other videos when I did the seven chakras. So you'll know about what that is. But your solar plexus is for your self-esteem, Virgo. Um, you know, where you stay motivated, focused, and confident. And this is um, what the sun I'm really feeling for you. Also, if you're coming to my channel, these are just tools that we put out. You know, so this is for our spiritual gifts. We have the stone. And then this right here, I've seen this at Michael's. I was buying um, cake decorating tools and i seen this. And this remind me like that pot of gold, the treasure, the prosperity that I'm looking for in this world. And we all are, to keep it honest. You know, we can't lie. We go to the Lord. We play for prosperity, however you want to pull it. You know, the universe takes care of it. We like money. Money is power. So we have to put that in front of ourselves and give us a visual. So welcome to my channel. And if you tune in, you subscribe to me, and we I'm, I'm going to show you we're going to get this money, okay? So pulling on Virgo for past, present, and future. Already in your past, um, jumping right in, we had divine order, which I think is funny um, because you are very on top of things. You like everything in order. You're a very clean person, neat freak, damn near OCD. Drill sergeant, oh, everybody, just the Virgos around. Hey, we got to have it like this. You're on top of your shit. Shout out, Virgos. We all need a Virgo. Um, you do what you feel is right. And an important lesson is unfolding. So this was in your fat, your past. Now, this is Lady Porta. If you don't know who Lady Porta is, again, this is the Oracle reading. You can get it clear, focused. I don't know why it's not focusing good. But, um... These illustrations are beautiful. I'm using Keepers of the Light Oracle cards by Kyle Gray. Um, stay for stay tuned for the tarot reading. I'm getting into that. This is more getting into ourselves, dealing with our own demons. So, Lady Porta, and this is what she's telling you about your past. Divine order. That's funny. This powerful goddess is a figure of justice and peace. She brings order and opportunity to every experience. As the Lord of Karma, she also regulates the law of cause and effect. Isn't that you, Virgo? Why is it not? I wanted to focus on the picture. I think it's the angle. Hold on. Y'all have to get focused on these pictures because that's part of the read. I wonder. I'm using cotton balls with alcohol. Virgo, give me a minute because we got to get you right. I promise you, let me read the other part. And draw you off. All right. Now maybe we can focus. Yeah. What is this little dot? I don't even know. Anywho. Y'all didn't see her. I do apologize, Virgo. I'll get back a little bit. But anyway, Lady Porta. She helps us recognize the impact of our judgment, choices, and actions in ourselves and in the world. Yeah, you do like to be on top of yourselves and others. Every little detail. She is the twin flame of St. Germain. So strongly connected to the violet flame energy. Together, these twin flames can work. As overseers of legal situations, justice is an energy that is about honoring everyone involved rather than punishing bad behavior. Lady Portha has helped us do what is right morally and spiritually for our soul's growth. So right now, Virgo, yeah, I am getting that divine order. Hard working, all work, no play. It has to be done. Look at the determination her. She looked like a bitch, like all work, no play. Let's get it done. That's the type of vibe Virgo is in the past. The extended message that she's bringing is 
Right now, a call for justice is being brought to your space. Even if this means you will lose out, there is really no loss in the highest state of truth. Act from the heart and see the other person's point of view and surrender your pride so that you are coming from a loving space. If you made choices that weren't for the highest good, admit it. Through this honesty, you are releasing any karmic bonds or anchors of fear from your energy. Take this time to learn from this situation. And if you're involved in any legal issues, know that Lady Porta and Angels Justice are gathering around you and everyone involved. This is so funny, Virgo. So you know what? We're breaking all them generational curses of being a judge. Any felons out there? Any Virgos dealing with the criminal past? That is not you anymore. Maybe you recently went to jail. Maybe you recently have had some encounters with the law in your past and that's all in your past. That is not even you no more. That's not even a part of your life and you had to realize that. So that was your past. Yeah. For justice, is justice for you. It seems like you've been uh, guilty until proven innocent and not innocent until proven guilty. And that's messed up. But now the angels are here with Krishna. I love Krishna. Devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are being recognized, Virgo. No longer misunderstood. Ooh, come on, spirit. No longer misunderstood. People are going to start understanding you. And you are loved unconditionally. People didn't recognize your gift, but it's about to. So if you don't know who Krishna is, I'm going to tell you about him and then the extended message from him um, right now in the present. So Lady Puerto was in our past divine order. You have to let go of the need to be right all the time and pinpointing everything in yourself and others. Now we're going to Krishna. Believe all your devotion and every all the hard work you put in. It is going to be rewarded. It's not like you did it for nothing. Virgos are amazing. Krishna. So. Krishna is a Hindu god who is known as a Matavar, great avatar, and embodies divine wisdom. One of India's best love gods. He is an approachable, kind, loving, and supportive guide. He is a peaceful being with great love for all people and animals. He is often depicted with a calf or a lamb, which is a symbol of innocence, and a peacock feather on his head, which is said to honor the divine feminine. He was a spiritual guide of the warrior soul Arjuna, as related in the Hindu epic Bhagavad Gata, which really is a story of choosing love over fear and helps us move beyond the limitations and wars on our ego that it creates in our mind and maybe even the world around us. His twin flame is Radha. Wow. So your devotion is being recognized. You are being recognized. I don't know if you're thinking about doing anything um, on a social platform, YouTube, Instagram. Go for it. You're going to get recognized. You're going to get clout. So maybe I was, maybe I'm not going to get no likes. Maybe I was here to tell you, Virgo, it's on. The extended message is that you have a, a deep spiritual connection and must trust the guidance that is coming through. Your devotion to the spiritual path has been recognized. It may feel as if you've been on a mental slash emotional battlefield. But there are sweet messages of hope around you now. Krishna is here to boost your sense of connection to the divine and encourage that you act from your soul. If a decision needs to be made, ask yourself what will honor your soul and those around you. If you can choose the best for all involved, you will feel even closer to the divine. So you are going to be rewarded here for a goal. All of your loyalty, your kind, hardworking so that worry needs to be over. You get you some green print, green print tonight. And FYI, this clear quartz does everything. At the end of the day, if you can't afford anything, just get your quartz. One quartz. One little stone, like $3, you know? You got to invest in yourself and tap into it. And put it on your chakras and open yourself up and be open-minded. And recognize um, I'm getting any social platform. Go right ahead. Your devotion, you're going to be recognized. And now moving on to the, into the future, we have the Shekinah. Oh my goodness, this is such a powerful card. The Shekinah, your sacred self, Virgo. Wow. This is such a powerful card. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. So 
Some of you Virgos, I'm feeling that you love dancing. Or maybe you could dance back in the day, baby. That ain't going nowhere. You still got the moves. 20 minutes. Come on, spirit. And the enemy tried to stop me. Like, you have so... This is such a good reading right here, Virgo. Like, you're an earth sign. Your spirit is really... The spirits, Krishna, the Shekinah, you know, keepers of the light in general, the great I am, the universe is getting your attention right now and letting you know you have not been unrecognized. You may feel misunderstood and you may be tired, but you cannot stop. You cannot stop. You need to unleash your gift. If you're a dancer, you need to dance. Whatever you do, you know, I've been telling my baby he likes to fish. I'm like, blog, you're fishing, you know, like. It's kind of like a a journal, but like a video journal almost. But I'm writing it as well. So if you don't know who the Shekinah is, and then we're going to wrap up your reading. I might get up into one more and make me some coffee. Y'all are giving me strength, really. I don't know. Really, I want to get through it and be done and get on a different plane and see what happens. Okay. Okay, so the Shekinah. Be, be patient. This is Shekinah. So if you don't know who she is or what she represents, I'm about to tell you. The Shekinah is the twin flame of the Holy Spirit. It is the female aspect of the God particle of creation and energy. She is the more of an essence than a being, but has the ability to show herself in ways that we will understand. She's acknowledged in the sacred teachings of Judaism and is also called the Sophia of Christ in the Gnostic Gospels. She is a powerful female voice of the spirit who is here to bring about equality and to help the world move in from the male only image of God. She reminds us that God is an all loving and all accepting. Whenever she appears in a reading, she points out the change makers, the love creators, the gift sharers of the world who are here to unite all hearts around the world. Wow, Virgo, that's exactly what you are. Oh, man, that's exactly what you are, the Shekinah. I knew I heard that word before, and I have studied Judeo-Christianity, the Torah. I read the Bible in Hebrew and Greek. You know, I've studied a lot of things, and that's when I got out of religion. I was in non-denominational, non and finally, you know, like David broke the curtain between Jews and Gentiles. I want to break the the curtain in all religions. Let's just all learn from each other. Really, we're all members of the same body. So her message is don't feel the need to hold back or dap in your spirit. This is the time to celebrate, Virgo. There's a feeling of dance and joy around you at this time as you fully recognize your splendor. You are a sacred being who defies gravity every day. Just by being alive brings a sense of balance and equality to the world. Wow, just by you being here. So even if you're feeling misunderstood, you know, and that's what Spirit was leading me to tell you, you have a bomb reading here. I mean, you have divine order. And you know, God is delivering you from that. That is a part of you, your cleanliness. You're going to be on top of everything. But when you pay attention to the smallest detail in everything, you can drive yourself crazy. You know, your weakness, you worry, you're overly critical on yourself and others. All work, no play. That's not a fun person. And you may be like people or you're misunderstood. People don't want to be around you. You got to kick back a little bit. That's why comment. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because Pisces here to help you with that. Come out the box. Your devotion has been recognized though, Virgo. I don't want you to think that all your hard work and everything you do and staying on top is unrecognized. The spirits understand you. You, they understand you. You're not misunderstood in the spirit realm. Really, that's all that mattered. In the future, you're going to acknowledge your sacred self. Like I said, if you're getting on any social platform, you're thinking about doing your YouTube channel, jump out there. Do it. You're going to get recognized. You're going to get likes, comments, subscribes. You're going to be moving around. Unleash your spirit, your gifts. If you're a dancer, I'm feeling like there's a dancer. You need to come out the box. And see, it's just like right here, something's on the head. You're kind of covered up. You're royalty the whole time. And I'm seeing something here in the middle that always represents the third eye. Your psychic ability, your sense of knowing. So yeah, Virgo, I just thank you for being patient with me. This was your reading, seven days. 
out of the darkness. I just thank you for giving me strength. I did want to get to Gemini because my BFF is a Gemini and I got to do a Gemini while I'm in this same mode. So I'm probably going to make me some coffee. Virgo, you gave me the strength. Um, just really putting on into your energy. You definitely are all work, no play. I mean, getting this Virgo energy just makes me want to go through all this shit nonstop. But, you know, my spirits, they just brought me back down to earth with you so I can get through you and Gemini. And then I'm going to call it a cap. But I thank you, Virgos. Um, so hopefully you'll continue to tune in. I'm going to keep, if this really resonated with your spirit, please subscribe. Let me know. Give me feedback. Um, I'm asking spirit. I don't know if spirit's going to have me continuously do all these signs. Because this is draining. I don't know how they're getting on here like nothing. Hey, Sagittarius. Hey, Leo. This is your side. Maybe Taurus is different. Oracle. And plus, it's me. I'm just so fucking high. I'm just so fucking deep. We overthink things, too. So, I understand you, Virgo. Trying to get everything. Very pinpoint. But then I'm also like, I also be like, buddy. But like this shit. But yeah, but thank you. This was your reading. Past, present, future. Very powerful. Very inspiration to me. You gave me juice. To get about 30, 45 minutes more on this Gemini reading. I got to get this information on Gemini and get this message out for my BFM. Girl, you know who you are. I love you because I'm staying up um, getting out this next one. So if you have Gemini in your chart, if you know a Gemini, check out this next reading. Um, yeah, I love you, Virgo. See you.